Jesus. So this is our C6 Corvette. It's getting some upgrades today. So got it up on the left. Got it looking clean. Project number one. Get this balancer installed. Got the installation tool. We got the LS removal tool. So let's get this rack out of the way and see if we can get it done. You're recording. I just want to make sure that. Alright. Alright. Alright, so we had the big Ugga Dugga gun on there, got this baby cracked off. Alright, so then we're gonna put this piece in here. Hopefully it doesn't oh, it doesn't want to sit there, so we can probably sit it on the end of our installing tool like this. This has got a little piece that's gonna run in there nicely. So we'll put that in after. Get our pulling tool up here. No, and he says, Nick, we're just going to send it in dry, dude. All in good condition for a long time, so a little bit of lubrication goes a long way on these things, so give it a bit of this. This is my favourite. Hot shots, clip oil. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, -mm -mm. All right, victory, guys. Honestly, Nick, that can't... Oh, it's been keyed. So that was uh, nice and simple to come off, to be honest with you. I've definitely fought the OEM one a lot more than that, but I'm honestly thinking this all looks pretty clean, pretty fresh. I was going to replace that seal, but everything looks super new, so we're just going to... Uh, Put some lube on, probably put a little bit of anti-seize or something on that crank, a little bit of oil around that seal, and uh, we're going to, uh, this is the guy she told you not to worry about. And this, is, this is the old pecker you got here, so made in America, baby. Let's get this thing installed. Oh, dumb All right, so I have installed a few LS balances in my time. We're going to put a little bit of uh, Hot Shot Secret oil. We're going to put that around where the seal runs so when it goes in there it doesn't want to burn up the seal when we first fire it up so seal's going to be happy and then we'll pretend we didn't see this brand because hot shots doesn't actually make one but maybe we can in the future but we, i do like the copper coat style anti-seize we're going to put a little bit of anti-seize in here where this goes in on the crank this is uh future brandon's definitely going to be very impressed with himself when he goes to pull this off and it's also going to be a lot nicer to go on. So a little bit of anti-seize on the crank and the shaft here. Pause. And then a little bit of oil around here for it to run on. So it should be a good thing. Let's get it done. All right. So we just want to make sure we did have some dirt and everything around here. So we want to make sure everything's clean. So a little bit of brake clean on a nice clean rag. Cloth. And we're going to... Get this crank a nice clean so we don't have any dirt destroying it when we go on there. One other thing with the uh, this key, this crank is not a someone's pinned this crank, so we are going to repin it. But uh, LS cranks don't have pins or timing marks or anything, so on the new dampener, it's just a normal hole. So if you're ever trying to set timing, you need to use a piston stop and a marker for that because these balances just bolt on this particular motor. I 
Let's not do that noises. We're good to go. Yeah, it's recording. All right. So we got everything clean. We've got our new balancer here. Get him sitting on there square. That was lucky. Hmm. Uh, it actually was on purpose. All right, so that's bottomed out on the crank. So we know we've got a lot of nice amount of thread engagement. Put this baby up to here. Pull him in. See how strong I feel. Talk to me, Goose. All right, so we've gone. You probably could be a superhero and just go until you snap something, but we just go until it's pretty firm. And then uh, we want to pull this off and just check. Usually the balancer sticks out a little further than the, uh, than the um, crank. So we'll just check that that's what's going on here and then a little bit of sealing on there because oil actually could come out the end of this crank so we put a little bit of sealing on that when we put it together no i think we could go in a little bit further so see so how we've got maybe a quarter of an inch there probably want to half that gap so we'll put it all back in there and i'll pull it on some more Excess uh, residue out of here from our anti seize because uh, oil can actually come out of the center of this crank. So, we want to put a bit of a bead on the back of our washer here just to seal that up from any crankcase pressure. And we probably should uh, repin this crank while we're at it. So, we've got a crank pinning tool over there. We'll get that bolted up and re drill that hole out and get that crank pin so we can knock that in there. And this will be ready to put our hub bolt on. Good. This could get wild now. So we like to put a little bit of uh, sealant on the back of this crank bolt. So when we're installing it, we can have oil goes all the way through into that oh, uh, into that crank. There can be oil come out of there. So we like to put a bit of sealant on here. That just stops it. So. so we'll talk this baby up to spec. Probably a few ogre doggers and then we'll check what the actual torque is. Success, baby. Balance is in. 
Everything's talked back up. Subframes all talked up. Check it out. She's done. We call that a success, guys. Plenty more stuff to do, but that project's done. We'll get on to the next one.